in-depth on why UTEP men's head basketball coach Rodney Terry's name has been thrown around a lot in the last 36 hours. The Texas Longhorns today introduced Chris Beard as its next head coach, making the move from Texas Tech. As he builds his staff, Terry's name has come up in several reports. So we're joined now by Nate Ryan, who's been on top of this story. So, Nate, what have we learned in the last 24 hours or so? Well, the phone's been ringing off the hook. A lot of digging, obviously, going around with reporters and anchors borderland finding out just exactly if Rodney Terry will be leaving to take an assistant position at Texas and based on people I've talked to it's not such a crazy proposition to think that a head coach would move then into an assistant role not so crazy to the fact that I've even seen reports that it could be likely that Rodney Terry could be leaving his current post as head man at UTEP for that assistant position a demotion in title but as we'll get to here shortly not so much necessarily in pay and responsibility explain that for our viewers uh, obviously there are the diehard UTEP minor fans who are paying attention to this, but then there are also viewers out there who may not be big fans of sports at all. But why would someone want to take a head coaching position and move into an assistant role? Well, it's all about fit. And for Rodney Terry, if you look at his career resume throughout his time as a coach, an assistant at Texas is a role that he's held before, and it's one that he actually bust his chops as a college basketball coach from 2002 to 2011. Rodney Terry was one of the top assistants for Rick Barnes when Texas was a prominent basketball program coming up with the likes of Kevin Durant, LaMarcus Aldridge, DJ Augustine, all guys that Rodney Terry helped recruit to Austin. And now that Chris Beard has accepted the head coaching job at Texas, you look at those players and those times that uh, Texas is now trying to get back to, why wouldn't it make sense for Texas to bring back one of the guys integral in that process back to Texas. And right now, Chris Beard is forming that staff, and he's done so quickly. There's one vacancy left. Yeah, you talked about it, so it's not so crazy the fact that a, a head coach would jump to an assistant gig. We've already seen one guy do it. As far as Chris Ogden, that's the former UT Arlington head coach who stepped down from his role as head man of UT Arlington. He now sits on that bench with Chris Beard, as you see there. Ulrich Malagy, who's joining Chris Beard from Lubbock, Texas, coming over from Texas Tech. He fills that second vacancy there on the bench next to Chris Beard. Now there's one spot left, one assistant role left to play for uh, Chris Beard's staff in Austin. Expect Chris Beard to move quickly here in filling that position because Chris Beard is a guy very competitive, wants to win. He's one of the most renowned coaches in college basketball. I actually spoke with National College Basketball Insider Kevin Sweeney. He's a national insider for Sports Illustrated. He's all over the national coaching carousel touching on Sweeney. If uh, moving from a head coaching role to an assistant role is something that wouldn't be so crazy far off, especially for Rodney Terry. He's had a decent job now. He hasn't, you know, failed it at UTEP. He goes to Texas. He, you know, they win big with at Texas. Now he's a hot name for every job, and he can kind of restart. It's a, it's a, it's it's a way of, you know, in one to two years, getting a clean slate on your resume in a way that you couldn't really do any other way other than, you know, turning around and winning big in a year pretty randomly if things aren't really moving in that direction. Coach Terry's only been here in El Paso for three seasons. That first season obviously was playing with a lot of players on the roster from the previous regime. This past season, a COVID year. Uh, the work, the body of work necessarily isn't fully there, but you talked about a clean slate and a chance to rebuild some of that stock he originally built up in Austin. And of course, as we reported back in February, Terry just getting uh, granted, uh, rewarded with an extension. So three years remaining on the contract. But let's play speculation here. If Rodney Terry were to take the, the assistant role at Texas and move on to Austin, that leaves a vacancy here in El Paso. Give us some names to potentially look out for. Again, pure speculation. It's not happening right now, but who are some names? Well, for minor fans, they're looking right to the name there on the bottom right, Tim Hardaway, the former Utah point guard. He's a name. He's expressed interest in wanting to get back into coaching. He said it here on El Paso Local Radio a couple months ago. Greg Foster, assistant with the Indiana Pacers, is a UTEP alum. Look at Kenton Paulino, a guy who currently sits with Rodney Terry on the bench, played for him at Texas. Joe Golding, you dream big. You can throw everything you want at Joe Golding, who just beat Texas in the tournament. Tim Miles is a guy who's experienced. He was a finalist for the job at UNM that went to Richard Pitino. But then again, as we talked about, all speculation. And talk about that contract with Coach Terry. Coach Terry currently sitting around $730,000 annually. Chris Beard sitting around $5 million annually. So that paycheck, obviously, would probably increase. And the assistants, yeah, could certainly get a lot more money. But we'll see. Maybe Rodney Terry stays All speculation. In UTEP and El Paso, after all. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. And uh, I know your phone will continue. You better uh, plug it in and charge it up. Roaming so. data, absolutely. Yeah.